Morning everybody. So this morning, wearing brown. And the reason I'm wearing brown is I'm gonna talking about floating, kind of, but it's kind of a rant post. Um, I've just read something on Twitter that I just don't believe is true. And I had to say something about it because, well, because I just do. Anyway, so before I do, let's just talk about the colors briefly. So we have the three green behaviors, thinking, communicating, and improving. Those are the things, if you have them in your diary in the right proportion, will take you, your people, and your business upwards, make things better because they're the essence of leading. Then we have the amber behaviors, monitoring and directing, just two of those. Now, those are the things that will maintain status quo, manage risk, stop things from going backwards. Then there's red doing and there's brown floating and you have those in your diary too much then it could take you your people and your organization backwards because it basically is you doing too much of the stuff and not doing enough of the green and the amber stuff but there's also another one there's blue and blue is about living that's about your personal recharge physical mental spiritual and mental mental spiritual and emotional well-being so None of us will be um, unaware of the shenanigans that are going on in Westminster at the moment and about uh, what's happening with our Prime Minister. And there was a comment made, like I said, I'm, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, but there was a comment made in the Commons that the Prime Minister made against Keir Starmer. It was a, some kind of accusation, but then it wasn't. And yesterday, um, his Chief of Policy, the Prime Minister's Chief of Policy, resigned. Now, kudos. OK, I love the fact that that person has principle and because the prime minister hasn't lived up to those principles, they have just, they've taken it on themselves to take a stand and say no more. I'm going. I don't want to be associated with this. OK, now this is nothing about my politics. OK, I'm just talking about the fact that somebody's there who's standing up for what they believe. But. What was really interesting is this morning I saw on Twitter, Laura Koonsberg had um, put a tweet on and put a copy of the, the resignation letter. And I think it was an incredibly eloquent resignation letter. Um, I love what it said, except for one thing. Down towards the bottom of the letter, it said, and I quote, I know that our political culture is unforgiving when it comes to giving apologies. But it's the right thing to do. That's what the quote was. And I think that's the thing that's really irked me, because whilst it might be the impression of politicians that it is unforgivable to apologise for anything, I simply don't believe that that is true from the public. In fact, I think if politicians were to come out more often and simply apologise when they get something wrong, I think they would find that the public are incredibly forgiving. I think the media press are not very forgiving. I think all they want to hear is, are you sorry, are you sorry, are you sorry? And if they do apologise, they call it a flip-flop or they call it weak leadership. It's not weak to apologise when you got something wrong. Now, if we look at it from our Prime Minister's point of view, I really do believe that if our Prime Minister had come out shortly after what they'd done what they'd done and said, do you know what? I got that wrong. I apologise. This would have gone away in a heartbeat. It would have become, it sounds really hot, I'd say it would become a non-story, but this, it, would have, it would have not blown up because I've heard people say, I'm sorry. In I mean, Rishi Sunak, crikey, Rishi Sunak um, stood up and said, personally, you know, I support our Prime Minister, but personally, I wouldn't have done it. I sat there when I saw Rishi Sunak say that and I went, fair play. Fair play. Nobody's going to criticise you for that. You've just said you wouldn't have done it. It's not saying to Boris that you don't support him. It's not being um, it's not being disingenuous. You are allowed as an individual to have your own opinion. And to simply say, I wouldn't have done that. I'm not saying it's right that you wouldn't have done that. But the fact that he said, I wouldn't have done that, stood him out as somebody who wasn't afraid to speak his own mind. So... The rant, the, the, the waste that I'm talking about is when people simply will not apologise for something when they get it wrong, I think it wastes so much time. It wastes the time of the person doing it. It wastes the time of the people asking for the, for the, for the apology and the question. And it wastes the time of the people who have to spend their time watching the news over and over again where the news is so-and-so hasn't apologised. Just apologise. It'll be all over really quickly. 
and then we can get on with things that we really do need to focus on in our world. Interested to see your views uh, below. Um, something to ponder for the weekend. So uh, have a great day. Have a great week.